I think it's really fascinating. I think the brain is really interesting. Um, I think you get to do a lot of things for people as well that are often pretty marginalized. Um, I'm from Toronto, I'm from Mississauga, so it was a big part of being closer to my family, into Toronto, like back in the GTA. And then also there's a lot of opportunities at U of T in psychiatry, there's a lot of experts here. Um, I think I do research and the research quality in University of Toronto is, is excellent, so I feel like there's a lot that I can learn from people in terms of of research and research methods and and you know getting to see a larger variety of people and then I'm also interested in immigrant and refugee health and there's so much diversity in Toronto that I kind of wanted to have that as part of my training again. And I've done a number of electives overseas during medical school and I was in India, I was in Laos and I was in Brazil and so the more I did and I did some research as well in, in ethics of global health training when I was in medical school. So when I heard about this, I thought it would be a way to kind of take my knowledge about global health to the next level, because I do want global health to be part of my career and global mental health particularly part of my career. So I thought that when I heard about this, it would give me some more practical skills, give me a sense of what career options might be in global health, and learn more practical skills in terms of how to incorporate global health into my career. Um, so I'm, I do research, and I've chosen to do my research focus in the area of global mental health and so I've, I'm interested in working in, with youth in Nicaragua and looking at stigma and attitudes towards mental illness cross-culturally um, and that probably is partially motivated by my interest in global health and partially motivated by some experiences with the Global Health, health Initiative um, and so that's probably the most clear obvious one and then I've also tried to do outreach trips. We have a Northern Psychiatric Outreach Program here at University of Toronto. And so I've tried to do outreach to communities in Northern Ontario, which isn't quite global health, but has that sort of underserved communities, working with different resources kind of feel. Um, I have thought about, since I've done the Global Health Initiative, thought more about doing a master's in epidemiology or public health to get more concrete skills, to learn more in terms of statistics and that kind of thing. Um, I think it's given me a lot of things to think about. Uh, I don't know that it's given me anything specifically in terms of what I'll do, but I think there's a module in the complex humanitarian emergencies, and I think thinking about how mental health can be incorporated into global health was really interesting to me and important, and then also to think about career options in terms of working in disaster areas and working in complex emergencies it was not something that I thought could be applicable to mental health and applicable to my skills, but there is some room for that. And so learning about that is interesting and gives me some more th ways to think about what I can do further in, in my career in global health. I'm hoping that international work will be part of my career as much as possible. I think it gets complicated in psychiatry because you have a long-term relationship with people um, and that people are quite dependent on you. Your patients rely on you quite a lot, especially people that you see for therapy. So I think that complicates the ability to go abroad if I want to keep seeing people. And my interest clinically is in seeing sort of complicated patients that generally rely on their psychiatrist. So it's a little bit more challenging in psychiatry, just in terms of making sure your patients are covered and cared for, but I would like to, yeah.